Hi, I'm Brian Nagley. I'm with Motorsports Land. Today we're going to do a walkthrough on our 27N Vista. A couple things when you look at the front end of this coach is a new redesigned front cap on the coach, full one piece windshield, and of course, Winnebago steel superstructure under here under the front cap of the coach. The steel superstructure on this coach actually runs back to the secondary A pillar back here. What that means for you as a customer or a consumer is it's a two inch weld steel E coated front end uh, superstructure behind the cap, allowing us to bolt the front cap, the windshield, the side mounts, the overhead cabinetry, the overhead top, the engine, as well as the dashboards and drivers and passenger seats to all steel, giving the front end of the coach a nice secure frame and foundation to build the rest of the coach upon. As you start to move around to the off door side of the coach, you'll notice we have two slides on this, on this coach in this particular unit. The nice thing with this is it actually is a three slide coach under uh, just over 28 feet. As you move down, nice high gloss quality gel coat on the coach itself with a heavy duty vinyl leg graphic. Large side windows for the driver and passenger. As we get over to the passenger side, I'll tell you more about the windows, but you got a nice big driver's side window for good visibility out to the side of the coach. Side mount cameras into the uh, mirrors on the coach itself. Great little feature on here is when you actually look at the uh, coach and your tape making a lane change or girl going down the road and need to go around the corner, you turn your turn signal on. It actually uh, turns on these side cameras to show you what's alongside of the coach or the curb down along to the side of the ground where you get in your blind spots where you can't see. As you move around to the slide itself, um, first uh, slide on this unit, if you look underneath, Winnebago is known for the one piece aluminum floor. The nice thing with the one piece aluminum floor, it runs through the entire superstructure of the coach, as well as all your slide outs have aluminum floors underneath them as well. All your doors on this side of the coach are all built at Winnebago. They are all aluminum doors. They are insulated as well with brick foam insulation. If you look into this one, here are all your hydraulics for your leveling jacks, as well as your propane uh, tank and everything right there. Winnebago also has, as you come down the further back of the coach, again, all the doors are manufactured right at Winnebago for this coach. Completely insulated, they're all brick foam insulated and they are all aluminum structure. This is your dump station right here for the coach. If you look into here, Winnebago also has their own rotocast department at the dealer, at the manufacturer in the factory. As you do this, you got nice rotocast scenes inside your dump station, allows it to get wet. There's no carpet, no wood, anything in there to actually trap the odors or the smells as you go on with the coach. The nice turnstile, so you can take your hose down through the bottom of the coach as well. Gray and black, and a nice little sandy flush in here. Sandy flush is an actual sprinkler system inside the black tank. You hook a hose up to here, turn it on. It has a sprinkler system that actually will wash out your uh, black tank for you. Slam baggage latch stores all the way around the coach. That's on the door side and off door side. Everything does lock. You move a little bit further on back down the coach. Here's your main filling station. Hot and cold outside shower, fresh tank fill. Here's your waste valve for your tank fill, cable connectors, 30 amp cord. Again, nice rotocast in compartment so we can uh, get wet. Again, no carpet, no wood, anything in there, trapped odors or anything to get moldy or musty. This coach has a 4,000 watt owning generator on board. The nice thing with the 4,000 watt owning generator, it'll power everything on the coach, including microwave, central air, it'll run the TVs, it'll run basically all the electrical on the coach. And another thing that this does is whenever the generator is running, it's running a charge to the actual coach batteries for the uh, motorhome. Offside accessibility to the pass-through storage across the back of the coach. I'll show you a larger entry on the other side, but notice as you get into here, you got accessibility to the off-door side of your uh, pass-through storage. The secondary slide on the off-door side, this is an armoire. I will show you more when we get into the coach, but this is a vacuum bonded all the way around. Fiberglass slide out. This is your actual closet for the bedroom in the rear of the coach. As we move around to the back of the coach, 
Full roof ladder access. The nice thing with this, this is a full walk-on roof. It is aluminum trusted and it's a solid one-piece fiberglass roof. Nice thing with having the one-piece fiberglass roof is you're not going to tear any rubber or anything like that. You actually can walk onto the fiberglass. It's going to hold up into all the different elements, cold, uh, the rain, the snow, heat. It's just a better way of building the roof on the coach. This is your rear access panel door. As if you look under here, this is all painted aluminum back here. You get a nice carpeted area. It is pass-through storage. It does go all the way across the entire back of the coach. Again, door is insulated. It's all aluminum construction with the gel coat on the outside. And it is a slam baggage lock with a locking piece on the coach as well. Backup camera at the back of the coach. The nice thing with the backup camera is it is a colored backup camera. So anytime you're backing the coach in anywhere, if you have a tow vehicle behind you, you can always have that camera on to actually keep view of what you actually have behind you. Over here on the door side, again, third entry into your pass-through storage. Same thing with the door, locking, slam baggage latch as well. Really great thing on the outside of the coach is a propane jack. It, does, it hooks up to your actual propane bottle. When you're hooking up to this, you can run a barbecue, camp shaft, anything that you need that's propane run to cook outside the coach, you can hook right into that propane. This is your water heater here on the back side, on the door side of the coach. This is a six gallon gas electric water heater with direct spark ignition. You can fire everything inside the coach for your water heater. As you move along, the full wall slide of this coach. This is a full wall slide on the door side. It comes all the way back, three quarters of the way of the coach, starts at the end of the entry door, ends with about four feet back here to the coach. In the slide out, couple of nice things. You do have an outside entertainment center on this coach, 32 inch TV, DVD or stereo player with its own speakers for the outside entertainment. Insulated aluminum door with locks on it so then nobody can get to your equipment. Down below the slide out, one of two storage compartments under the slide. You do have your actual storage here. It is an aluminum floor. Again, aluminum floor on the bottom of the slide out access to your fresh water tank and your water pump and your winterizing equipment for the water pump. As you move a little bit further forward, another large storage compartment on the coach. This one is access to your gray water tank with the external tank sensors on it. Great thing with the external, state, uh, external tank sensors. They're true reading sensors. They actually monitor the tank and they give you a more accurate reading from the external portion of the tank. Large storage compartment in here as well. As you move a little bit further forward, this is the secondary door to that same storage compartment. It does go pass through to the other side as well. Coach in a 28 footer does have a ton of storage in there. As you move a little bit further forward, your main entry door is actually cut out and manufactured from the actual cutout of the door. As you move into here, you've got two entry steps. The door is all aluminum, nice and sturdy. You can really give it a tug on it. It's just not a little piece of flimsy, hollow aluminum on the door itself. The door is an inch and a half thick. Steel all the way around the door as well as steel on the entry pad to go into the coach. As you move inside the 27N Vista, lots to talk about as you first step into the uh, forward portion of the coach. Again, this is a triple slide unit. If you pan around and take a look at the entire coach, you have a lot of room in here. Dinette booth is on a full wall slide itself. You have MCD roller shades throughout the entire coach. The nice thing with the roller shades makes it a full dark out as well as behind the nightshade, you do have a full day shade as well. The table is solid wood. You do have storage underneath your bench in your dinette booth place to put pots and pans, extra groceries, anything that you need to take camping with you actually have lots of storage in here with the table being on the wood. Overhead cabinetry storage above the table. Again, linens, anything that you need to take camping with you. The coach has a lot of storage in it. 110 plug and a 12 volt adapter plug right here in the table. Laptops, uh, tablets, if you need to charge your cell phone, anything like that can be done right here at this stocking station around the table. As you move to the forward portion of the coach, 
Again, that full steel superstructure running all the way back to the A pillars, your dashboard, both drivers and passenger side seats, the overhead cabinetry, the overhead bed, the windows, everything's bolted into two inch welded steel frame underneath the superstructure of the coach. Both power driver's seat and power passenger seat. Both chairs do rotate around. It is a very nice little feature on the for the chair as they do rotate all the way around for entertainment value. And the driver's does as well, so now you actually have entertainment value for up to eight people up here on the front end of the coach. Overhead bed option. We've been putting this into the coach because a lot of people don't like to make their dinette booth up and down to have a secondary sleeping area. This bed will hold up to 400 pounds. It is powered. It runs on steel up here in the front. You do have access to the storage as well as a secondary net piece that connects to the front wood to keep anybody from rolling off the front end of the uh, bed. There is a ladder to access the bed. It is stored in one of the closet areas. As we move around into the kitchen area of the coach, lots to talk about here in the kitchen. Again, in a 28 foot coach, it does have ample amounts of storage into the kitchen. You've got full storage under your island sink. As you close the doors, you have three drawers over here. They are all on, all on a full extension aluminum ball guarding guides. They are full extension. The door does come all the way out. It is all solid wood, ma raised maple wood cabinetry throughout. Again, you have storage up above your actual countertop, adjustable shelving inside the countertop itself. Corian countertops throughout the coach, full size convection microwave oven, as well as a secondary propane oven underneath the stove. You do have a three burner stove up here, all direct spark ignition. Everything is just turn it on and go ahead and hit the igniter. As you move into the main kitchen area of the coach, nine cubic foot fridge, nice big open fridge for you. It is all raised wood panel with a secondary separated freezer up above. This is a three-way fridge. It runs gas, electric, or on 110. As you move to the side wall here, here's your main docking station for everything into the coach. All three sides uh, slide out switches are right here. Generator on and off, your water heater, your test levels, your water pump on and off. Digitally controlled thermostat, so you can nice actually set the thermostat digitally controlled. The AC does have a heat pump in it, so you can run an electric heat setup on there. Nice thing with an electric heat pump, it actually keeps the chill off in the coach. It works extremely well at 65 degrees or above. They circulate the hot air back into the coach. 1000 watt uh, inter, uh, Xantrex inverter system. The inverter will actually run all of the TVs on the coach without having to fire your generator. It is a thousand watt system. One thing we didn't talk about as we moved into the main portion of the coach, one piece aluminum floor. Again, it's the same as the slide out bottoms. It is all aluminum flooring. It is a one piece floor. Lighter, better, it's more rigid. It's gonna last longer. Water's not gonna damage it. And it's not gonna wear over long periods of time with no seam points. Solid wood door going into the bathroom. As you first look into the bathroom, it's a nice large bathroom for a small 28 foot motorhome. Does have the nice porcelain toilet in here, as well as the, the sink, storage underneath the sink, storage above the back wall, nice big garden cornered shower, glass doors on there, nice full skylight, bench seat in the shower itself. I'm a fairly large guy. I can still stand up in the shower. My head doesn't go completely up into the skylight. And I do have plenty of room to move around into the shower as well. One other nice thing in here is they gave you a secondary cabinet for linen storage, towels, washcloths, anything that you need to put in here, as well as a full towel bar already into the coach. Exhaust fan in here with air conditioner ports into the bathroom, as well as a heat duct in here. As you move back to the bedroom, a couple nice things to talk about back here in our bedroom. Full wall slide on the back side. This is your closet we were talking about onto the door side of the coach. 
nice big closet already here full wards you have lots of storage back here as well you have clothing wards on both sides of the bed as well as overhead cabinetry storage as well lots of places to put your clothes your knickknacks anything that you take along camping with you the bed itself is a true queen bed it's 60 inches wide 78 inches long and the nice thing with the bed on this unit it is a sleep number adjustable bed As you move over here to your actual nice war, uh, ward here, you've got full extension drawer guides. You do have six Chester drawers into the Chester cabinets. They are on full aluminum extension ball bearing glides, open all the way out, as well as more overhead storage all on gas strutting above. The TV on the wall does pull out, rotates over, so anybody into the bed can actually see the TV here. And you do have a nightstand nice on the off door side bed portion of the couch. One other thing as we move back into the kitchen, pantry storage. Large pantry storage throughout the entire couch. One last thing in the bedroom, solid pocket wood door to close off the rest of the bedroom for the rest of the couch. It is one piece slider, it does slide into place. It is solid wood, goes with the wood overheads, locks back into position, snaps into position for traveling onto the coach. Lots of people ask how much room do you have inside the coach when the slides are in? You do have two feet of walk area to here. You do have two feet of walk area back into the bedroom, leaving you even when you stop off to the side of the road and you want to access your refrigerator, you want to access your bathroom, you can without having to run any of the slides in or out on the coach. Makes for a really convenient area into the coach to come here, to pull off to the side of the road, make sandwiches, anything that you need to be able to access both your bathroom and your fridge. Residential ducted heat throughout the entire floor of the coach. The nice thing is that's a tin ducted heat. It's the same registry that you have in a home. Runs through the center floor of the coach as well as heats the basement underneath. Heated holding tanks on this coach as well. Digital TV antenna. If you don't have satellite, the nice thing with the digital TV antenna, you can rotate it and it does receive a digital, uh, digital reception on your TV instead of just the old RCA antennas. 42 inch t uh, big screen TV on the back wall. Fantastic fan in the kitchen. The nice thing with the fantastic fan it is a three-way fan it pull air out and suck air in and it does have a rain sensor on it as well that concludes our walkthrough of the 27n vista again my name is brian i'm with motorsportsland rv if you'd like to come in and see us any one of our motorhome specialists would be happy to help you show you and find you the perfect motorhome for your rv adventures. adventures